Department of Agriculture working on the Agronomy Jigsaw Project. The map that you can see is a map of the Lake Warden catchment. This image, it's what's called a ternary image, and it's called this because it shows each of potassium, thorium and uranium as separate colours. Potassium is red, thorium is green and uranium is blue. Areas that are white are high in all three elements and areas that are black are showing no gamma ray emissions. Now to the south and southwest you've got this bright red pattern which is showing an accumulation of potassium that came about through marine deposition of potassic clays which was mixed in with all the carbonates. Since that deposition it's been blown out as the wind blowing dunes along the coast of Esperance. Lake Warden is this dark patch down in the southern portion and just to the southwest of that you can see Pink Lake. The black pattern of Lake Warden is caused by the water of Lake Warden which blankets any gamma rays from being emitted. You, you'll see other black patches right throughout the centre of this image and they are showing areas where quartz sand blankets any emission of gamma rays from the clays and the gravels deeper in the profile. Up in the northern portion of the catchment you'll see lots of the pink colorations which again is potassium and that is potassium from clays of, of the loamy duplexes and the calcareous loams, Circle Valley loams and what have you. You will also see in the northern portion lots of individual dots of blue and these are the salt lakes where uranium is accumulating as uranium carbonate within the salt lakes. Within the central region, the central and north region, you'll see some large areas of white which is showing very high emissions of all three elements. These are basically granite outcrops and fresh granitic soils. And you'll also see that those granite areas run up the major streamlines of the catchment. Now the one other area I haven't yet talked about are these aqua colours, which is an accumulation of uranium and thorium. And uranium and thorium concentrate along with iron and aluminium oxides on the ironstone gravels. So all of these aqua areas are areas where you've got gravelly soils or shallow sands over gravels.